My next guest knows all about the importance of having a healthy snack. I'm here with Darren, who is the owner of Island Pops. Welcome to Island Beat. Thank you. So just tell me a little bit about your business. Yes, um, well, actually, we started in the Seymour's business, myself and my partner. Uh, yeah, I'm the co-owner of Island Pops. We actually started when government decided to propagate Seymour's. And um, we saw that it was a great opportunity. It was a great initiative to um, jump in on the action. Because I, myself, uh, my mom, well, gave me a lot of CMOS from young. It was actually nice. I didn't know the health benefits of it, but um, it was a good initiative. But um, we saw that, that the CMOS actually, people were doing a lot of drinks, but we wanted to do something very unique. So that's how we came up with the idea of making popsicles out of them. So your first popsicle was made out of CMOS? Yeah, correct. And so what flavors do you have now? Um, well, right now we have uh, um, a few main flavors that being mango, tamarind, we also have passion fruit, um, banana, and just a few flavors. So what about the f um, fruits that are seasonal? Yes, um, what we do, we do seasonal fruits, but um, we actually store the flavors. So in terms where you don't have any mango, we'd be sh assured that we could give you mango. So we'd actually store the, the flavor so you could get you know your mango all year round, etc. That's lovely. So tell me about why did y'all even begin to do popsicles? Why not something else? Why popsicles? Well, um, the popsicles, especially our main target market being children or students of schools. And um, we thought that, you know, sometimes you want that mouth to memory kind of feeling. So especially adults, so they, would, so they would actually, when they get that flavor, you know, bring back childhood memories, etc. And um, also in the summer heat, you know, as we were experiencing the, the heat, you know, the popsicle, we see it was actually a good thing to, to do. It was actually a good step moving forward to go into. Would you all be branching out to maybe icicles or ice lollies soon? Um, well, not icicles or ice lollies per se, but um, perhaps drinks later on but our main focus is the pops what makes our popsicles different they're actually all natural we do a lot of experimenting as i said we do um we do a lot of creamy passion fruit whereas we have our normal passion fruit also creamy mango and this is the all made natural from natural coconut milk so we have so those persons who are actually um the la lactogen intolerant yeah they would actually could get a popsicle which is free from those and which popsicle would you say is your best seller? Um, well, I would actually go with the passion fruit. Okay, yeah, the passion fruit is actually the best seller. But um, we did a, a small survey among children and that we found that they actually, the the, the NDA or, or they like a lot of um, foreign based flavors. So that's why we were experimenting with um, a flavor, especially commonly known as strawberry. Okay, so soon we're going to work working our way to blueberries. Maybe. Do <laughs> <laughs> you like it? I like it. Wonderful. And I'm, it's not like too peanutty. Yeah. That's even a word. It <laughs> tastes real good. And this is like a creamy coconut. Yeah. yeah peanut, you know what I mean? Like yeah. tasting the coconut. Yeah, and it actually has sea moss. So the main yeah. stuff about it, yeah. So you wouldn't actually taste the CMOS in there, but it has CMOS. It's CMOS based. Okay, so this is like a really good balance of blend.